very much. Randy, and we'll go right back to the phone lines and talk to Deidre in Memphis, Tennessee. Hi. Hi, Hank. My question is, out of all the millions and millions of people that's passed away before us, and our bodies are resurrected to new perfect bodies, how would we all fit on this earth without being different dimensions? Well, there are two different ways that I would answer that. The first is to say that we don't know exactly what the restored universe will be like. Just like a caterpillar doesn't know what it's going to be like when it goes through metamorphosis. It weaves its own casket, its constituent parts devolve into a mysterious molecular mixture, and out of that comes a being that is altogether different. So out of this universe can come a universe that is the same physically, but it's different organizationally. And we don't really, again, know precisely what that entails. We can only speculate. Furthermore, I'd answer it by saying that think about population in general. It took from creation to about the 19th century to reach the first billion Since then, of course, there have been many more billions, but the problem is never the number of people. It's always a concentration of large numbers of people in small geographic areas. We could take the entire population of the world and put it comfortably into the state of Texas. But think about, for example, Egypt. 98% of the 60 million people in Egypt They live in a few crowded cities located on the banks of the Nile River. And that only comprises about 3 to 4% of the entire Egyptian landmass. So the real issue is not that there's not enough space. It's crowding in very small geographic areas. So even if we took into consideration the full corpus of people, we'd have no problem in terms of overcrowding on planet Earth. This whole notion of the population bomb that people used to talk about is pure mythology. It's a literary hoax, as it were. Okay. Thank you so much for answering my question. You got it.